There is a question, though, just more broadly, of how much people have really uh, internalized this idea of no rate cuts this year for the Federal Reserve. Has that truly been baked into the idea of what that means for broadening out in the rally and potentially everything other than the Magnificent Three? Yeah, it's no longer seven, right? So, no, I think importantly, if you look at the rate cut story, I think what, what needs to be discussed is the rate cut story is not about the economy being, let's say, so weak that there needs to be rate cuts. It's still about the strengths in the economy. And, of course, the inflation, which we call high for longer, not higher for longer because we think it's not going through the roof. It will stay at an elevated level. I, I think that's important. So I would still think, and that's why I don't think it's priced out, that there is a cut of the Fed this year, probably in the fourth quarter. And I do think, and I think it's really priced in the markets, well, that the ECB will cut in June. And then let's see probably every quarter they will cut. By the way, that's also making probably you more attractive and quite interesting. So I think this rate cut story is not over from my point of view. A lot of people are suggesting now that the pivot party is over. Well, the other thing that can sustain us is this idea of stability. If we don't have volatility in rates, that that's enough to sustain some sort of rally. Do you buy that, or do you think that if we have stability at these levels, that's going to really change a lot of theses that are just hinged on this idea that the rate cut will come? I think what we really watch very closely is the real rates. For example, if you look at the 10 years, now 225 in the U.S., I think whenever this is moving faster, then the equity market also gets, say, a bit nervous and volatility is rising. So as long as it's quite stable, that seems fine. But if that's rising faster, which we have seen just recently, then you see also a slight pickup in volatility. But again, if, if that's stabilizing from, from that point of view, I think that's quite a decent outlook. Nevertheless, also in terms of where we are in seasonality, I think if, if you take some gains of your overweight position, it's probably not wrong. And if there's a kind of setback in the market, which I would say is sound and maybe welcomed, then it's rather a buying opportunity. So that's how we position. It's no longer completely overweight on the equity side.